On the Tools menu, I select Pre-Routing Analysis. The system reviews the design and presents the results of the analysis in the output window. I review the results and note a few issues. A portion of the design in the lower left area has been pre-routed and protected, so router will not attempt to reroute any of the connections. Also, push and shove of protected objects has been disabled, so the router will not attempt to move any of those traces or vias. All layers are disabled for routing, so I will need to go into the setup and specify which layers I would like to use for routing the design. I want to review some of the design properties so that I can assure that the settings are reasonable for a design of this complexity. On the standard toolbar, I click the Properties button. I click the Routing tab. I set the maximum number of vias to unlimited. This allows the auto router to utilize as many vias as required to complete the routes. I click on the Clearance tab. I want to make a few adjustments. I click the board column heading and enter a new value for the clearance settings to be applied from the board to all other objects. I change the setting for the board to via clearance cell and click Apply. Then I click the Layers tab. I select the Route checkbox for the layers that I want to use for routing. I click OK. Before I begin routing the design, I run a length minimization. On the Tools menu, I select Length Minimization. This adjusts the unroute paths so that all of the connections between the pins have the shortest distances between them. To set my auto routing strategy, I click Tools, Options. I select the Routing General page. I set the trace angle to Diagonal. I select the Strategy page. Notice the pass types. You select a pass type to include it in the auto routing operation. I select the Fan Out, Route, and Optimize passes. Now I define the routing order for each of the enabled passes. I click the Fan Out pass. Notice all the items associated with the pass highlight. Using the pointer, I double click Components to expand the components tree. I scroll down the list, find and select the desired high density components, then use the selected button to add the components to the routing order list for the selected fanout pass. I use the plane nets button to add plane nets to the routing order list to ensure that all plane nets will be fanned out. I then arrange items in the routing order list in the desired order. Now I click the route pass. I make a few component selections and add them to the routing order list for the selected route pass. I click the All Nets button to add all nets to the bottom of the routing order list. This ensures that during the route pass, the high density components will be auto routed first, followed by all other unrouted nets. I click OK. I'm ready to route the design. I select Tools, Auto Route, Start to begin the auto router. I can watch the board complete routing. The process takes a few minutes, so I will skip to the end so that you can see the final results. I examine the results, noting that PADS Auto Router has completed 100% of the routing and met all of the criteria specified in the design rules.